the mysteries of the Mustang clutch pedal return spring and the mystique of the Steeda lightweight spring replacement. Woo, that was a mouthful. Welcome to this episode of Mike Fixed It. In this episode, we are going to look into the mystique surrounding the 2018 2019 Mustang GT clutch pedal. And we're going to ask some important questions and then answer those questions using science. Our investigation will attempt to answer what it is about the 2018-2019 Mustang clutch spring that makes people want to modify it. In this video, we will be replacing our stock GT clutch pedal return spring with the Steeda 35 pound lightweight replacement clutch return spring. If you've ever watched YouTube videos on this subject, you'll see that people are highly passionate about this mod, but that the reasons for doing it and the results after the mod are highly subjective. Roll the videotape. The clutch feel in these cars is very strange. There's like a breakaway point midway through the release that really snaps back up. Now this is gonna be 35 pounds per inch, which is gonna be about six times lighter than your factory spring, which makes a huge difference in the feel. And it actually helped me so much because it just made the clutch much sturdier and firmer. And now I'll let the clutch pedal out and you see that the clutch is back to its original functionality, just a whole lot lighter. It makes the clutch just slightly heavier, which in my opinion is almost necessary on the 18. In my opinion, for me, it helps me better than the soft, super soft um, clutch that it comes with by factory. Now the spring installed, you're gonna notice a huge, huge difference in the feel of the clutch. Installing this spring seriously helps in drivability crazy amounts. It feels great now. As a true fan of science, we need to be able to ask the most important questions and then go about answering them in a systematic, repeatable way. So for the sake of this video and in the name of science, we are going to ask and then attempt to answer the following questions. What is it about the Mustang GT clutch pedal that makes people want to modify it? Why do some people entirely remove the stock Mustang GT clutch pedal return spring. What does the much lighter 35 pound Steeda replacement spring actually do? Does it make the pedal feel heavier or does it make the pedal feel lighter? And finally, how do all three of these options compare? Let's address the first question. It's been said that the feel of the 2018-2019 Mustang clutch pedal is either too light or that the pedal starts out light, then gets heavy, and then gets light again. Easy, to right there. Medium, to right there. Hard, to right there, and it's at its hardest right here. Then it goes medium, and then it becomes very easy. I describe this response as being non-linear. The pedal changes in the amount of pressure required to depress it along the travel of the clutch. This can make it difficult to exactly control where the clutch is engaging. What we need to answer our questions is a way of actually measuring the amount of pedal pressure required and a scientific way to generate relevant data. In order to reach a scientific conclusion, one must take into account all of the variables that are at play. For the sake of our experiment, and in the name of science, we are going to require a real human leg. Things did not go how I planned, so we're gonna have to improvise.
So here's how this is going to work. Rather than a human leg, we have a wooden linkage that goes between the clutch pedal and a scale. And we're going to move the seat forward in one inch increments. So we have it marked here. This is the start. We have it zeroed out. So right now, we're zeroing out the scale and we have the linkage going all the way down to the pedal and then we're gonna take measurements at the various one inch points along the travel of the clutch pedal. So we are going to move forward to the one inch mark. Stop. I'm gonna move ahead again to the next increment. Two. Let's go up to the next measure. So we have gone five inches already. Let's go, I'm gonna take it to five and a half. Okay, and it sounds like we just engaged the uh, switch that needs to be depressed to start the car. And where are we? Let's see if we can take it all the way to the floor without bottoming out too much. Let's go to six first. And I measured this as having, all right, we're not touching yet. So we are at six and well, all of a sudden now it's up above 30. So I think we may be hitting. So what's happened is the clutch pedal has bottomed out so let me just back up a little bit. We'll say five and three quarters. And as you notice, this is telling at five and three quarters, we are down considerably below 20. So what we saw was there is a curve. The pedal starts out fairly soft and then somewhere in the middle, it gets hard, gives you resistance, and then as you get closer to the bottom, it gets sort of soft again. So it is a non-linear pedal feel. I like science when it works, and I like science when it agrees with me. So let's change out the spring and let's see what happens. Here is the replacement clutch spring. This is the Steeda 5557022. Steeda 35 pound per inch clutch spring assist. And this is for the 15 to 18 GT. Okay, so here are the instructions for the Steeda clutch assist spring. Tools needed. Very straightforward, needle nose vice grips. Well, I got my needle nose vice grips and uh, Honestly, I don't remember them being this small. Uh, disassembly, depress the clutch pedal fully in order to initially compress the assist spring. And using the needle nose vice grips, clamp the middle two coils of the factory spring together. They should compress the coils far enough so that the top and bottom spring perches begin to unseat from their mounts on the pedal. Come on, let's loosen these a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more leverage. Nah, and I just don't trust these pliers. Oh, I got them on there. Okay. Almost, there we go. Ah, they slipped off. This bad boy is just about off. Come on. Oh man. Come on, stay locked. Come on! You're a best. Oh, something is broken. I see plastic. Okay, this kind of sucks. 
<sighs> oh, you, you are a beast. So here's the Ford spring. There's the Steeda spring. And you really can't compress that by hand, but this Steeda spring, as you can see, is very compressible. After taking out the factory clutch return spring, I'm still feeling a fair amount of resistance in depressing the pedal. It did not get as easy as I thought it was going to. So we have the scale set up and we have it zeroed. And we're gonna try the same experiment again. This time there is no clutch spring whatsoever, no clutch return spring whatsoever. So we are going to see how the pedal feel is. We're gonna do the same test that we did before. So let's start. We're zeroed at the zero mark. And we're gonna go to one. And the scale says. Let's go to the next increment. So that test was done without any return spring in place. To my surprise, the clutch pedal with no return spring required between 10 and 15 pounds more pressure to depress it fully. The required pressure also remained more consistent at the lower part of the pedal travel and didn't get softer near the floor like the stock spring did. I'm trying to put this spring back in and I'm trying to hold the pedal down with one hand and assemble the spring with the other. So I should be using science. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put the spring back in, but this time I'm gonna use the, uh, the wooden leg to hold down the clutch pedal for me while I put the spring back in place. And it's in. The Steeda spring is in. We are going to run the same test. Let's check the scale. Remarkably, the scale is still pretty much zeroed. At the one and two inch marks, the Steeda spring was exactly the same as having no spring in place. By three inches, it was starting to compress and lessen the required amount of force. The Steeda spring requires about 10 pounds more pressure to depress than the stock return spring but is lighter than having no spring installed. And from the graph, you can see that the pedal response remains very consistent throughout the bottom two thirds of the clutch pedal travel. All right, this is our first test drive with the Steeda spring in place. Okay, here's my first hill stop with the new clutch spring. Not bad. This is awesome! This changes everything! I can't believe that I waited until now to make this modification. These are all examples of things I thought maybe I would be saying, but to be honest, it's not a huge difference. Does it feel good? Yes. Does it feel different? A little bit. Is it easier? No. If anything, it's heavier. But does it feel good? Yeah, I feel like I have some pretty good control. At the end of the day, you can do all the science that you want, but the bottom line is, do I like how it feels? Yeah, I think I do. Now, is it easier? No. Um, is it a huge difference? No, I don't think it's a huge difference. Is it any different? Uh, yeah, but I, I kind of have to convince myself a little bit that it is. Am I going to keep it this way? Yeah, I think I will keep it this way. I'm not disappointed that I gave it a try. Um, I was expecting more of a difference, but frankly, you know, this feels pretty good. The nice thing about this mod is 
one, it was only $20. Two, it's reversible. So, do I recommend this mod? Sure, why not? Give it a try. If you have the 20 bucks and you don't mind spending some time swapping it out, I think it's worth a try. Well, that wraps up this video using science. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions for subjects that you would like to see in videos in the future, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. While you're down there, like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and feel free to browse some of my past videos. So for now, be good, be well, be safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. I fixed it. Oh, fuck. Get that off there.